are very glad to host the uh, Charin Testival event at our Elad premises. We have a brand new test lab. It's good for Charin, but it's also good for Elad because uh, we can connect to the stakeholders in the EV industry. And we work closely together with CPOs, OEMs, EMSPs, and the utilities of which we are part of. We welcome them all here at Elad. I'm just coming from the opening ceremony of the Charon Festival together with Elad and we are very happy to be here and also Elad is very happy to have us here again after more than three years including Corona time not be able to test together and uh, we are now able to use their facility where they already have the ability to show what they have done here, what they are doing with other testing here. It's very important to keep testing. We've been testing for years now, but the technology is still developing and more and more parties are joining. So there is still enough ambition and enthusiasm to test. So in order to get a working ecosystem, we do not only need to test CCS, but also ISO 1511-2, ISO 1511-8-20, but also the ecosystem surrounding it, so the public key infrastructure. And that's all what we hope to do here today, but also in the future. A benefit for the ADA to be here at the Testival is testing the new technologies before they are launched into the market so that the bugs can be found before the new softwares or systems are on the field causing problems. A benefit of Charing Testival is also networking and making collaboration between the different partners that are involved in the charging industry. Because we're here and they bring in a lot of the prototype vehicles, we get an opportunity to test with those vehicles and the data that we gather is invaluable and it sets up an opportunity for us to do further work with the vehicle OEM. So we're very thankful for the Testable event and for Charon to actually hosting this. We're also very thankful to ELAD for providing the facilities where we're in. So one uh, use case that is important for the truck is to keep charge level. Since we have much larger batteries than a normal car, we use fast chargers sometimes to charge for a longer period of time. And during that time period, it's very important that the truck can uh, reinitiate the charging and refill the battery when needed. We also will have uh, MCS testing on uh, our charm and test levels. And also the amount of companies participating on the test levels. The amount of cars, testers and companies has increased a lot, which shows there's a big need for this growing industry to be together on test levels to improve the products and to test for high quality and high reliability. We have so many cars here and that's very good for testing our plug and charge implementation for AC and DC charging. We've been testing the last two days and we'll continue tomorrow with testing our vehicle against the different EVSC manufacturers and CPOs that are uh, at the testable. We've mostly been looking at AC and DC interoperability, but also very important is ensuring that our vehicle successfully can use the plug and charge technology with these different vendors. We know this is coming to the market quicker and quicker, so we're very eager to make sure our vehicle is interoperable with as many vendors as possible, so we can bring this plug and charge technology to our customers as quickly as we can. We from EcoG has been testing for the first time 1511 a 20 implementation at this festival with the real electric vehicles. We are very happy to have the progress in this festival and uh, we would be happy to continue the testing in the future festivals on the new implementation based on 1598-20.